210 Boxing TV here, our trainer of the year, Bob Santos. Uh, you had really a lot of success tonight, Lanier Perro and then Mario Barrios. Let's talk about Mario Barrios coming coming back, very aggressive, body shots, looking like a million bucks. What are your thoughts on Mario Barrios', uh, Mario Barrios victory tonight over Santiago? Mario Barrios is a tremendously talented fighter. You know, he's one of the biggest punchers in, 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 in boxing. He's an incredible fighter. And, you know, he just got to get back to the basics, what he grew up with, what, uh, you know, him and his sister had worked on since they were kids, and just get back to the basics of what he, what, who, and he is. And so, um, just a tremendous punch. I'm so excited for him because I think he's, he's put himself in a great oppor opportunity to fight for a world championship now, obviously, or fight some of the big names. And yes, he's fought some of the big names. He's fought Thurman, he's fought Gervonta Davis, but I think he's starting to find himself back to what he is and what he was going into that Gervonta Davis fight. You know, a guy who had stopped nine guys, or uh, eight guys in a row, whatever the case may be, and, and getting back to that, and, and, and he showed that tonight, and we're very thankful for that. Do you think he reminded the, the boxing world that he's a puncher? Yeah, sure, he's a puncher. You know, um, you know, I think uh, you know he was getting a little bit too uh, defensive oriented and, and, and fighting off the back foot a little bit, and, and, and he needed to get true to his roots, to, the, to that Mexican style, that grind, that want, that will, and he showed that tonight. I thought he won every second of every minute of every round against a guy that you know I thought beat Adrian Broner. It was a very competitive fight. Um, so, you know, uh, Mario showed that he's at that elite level, and he, and he deserves another opportunity. Being at 147, him not having to drain himself and hurt himself to make 140, did you just see a stronger, more aggressive Mario? Yeah, there's no doubt about it, you know, and, and I think that, that stronger, more aggressive Mario Barrios um, is going to get a lot, a lot of people problems, right? So I, I think he can compete with anybody, um, and, and, I, and I expect, fully expect him to win a world championship at 147 pounds. With Errol Spence, more than likely, he's moving up to Thurman, uh, moving up to fight Thurman at 54. Sure. Do you think he moves back down to 47, or he stays just, he's done with 47? You know, um, personally, I think he'll probably stay at 54. He's a big guy. But nothing surprises me in this sport, right? He may he may come back down to 47, I guess, if the, if the money would be right. And it's something that, you know, really got his juices flowing and it was a mega-type fight. I'm sure he would do that because he's the type of person that wants to put on those crowd-pleasing performances like he's done so many times out there in Dallas, Texas. And obviously, he's one of the greatest stars in the sport. So I, I, I think he would do it if everything was right. But for the most part, I think he's going to stay at 154. If those belts become vacant at 47, right, then that could pop we open up a scenario where Mario can maybe fight. Uh, Abel Ramos is fighting uh, Cody Crawley. The winner of that fight would be a good fight for Mario. Or maybe even, I don't know if I'm talking crazy, what about maybe uh, Boots Ennis? Maybe for a vacant you, you, belt, some, you know somebody what? like that, one of those you kind of fights. You know what, I think Mario, you know, he's game. He's never ducked anybody. He's never ducked the challenge. Obviously, I've been with him uh, his entire career. And he's the type of kid that, you know, he's never turned down a fight. That's Mario Barrios. He's all heart, you know all determination, and so um, he ain't going to turn down any fight. If they present it to him, I'm sure he would take that fight. He's willing, he's willing to fight anybody and everybody, and he's a very dangerous fighter. Anybody doesn't doesn't understand that, I think that, especially the way he's fighting now. He's not so much on the back foot. His jab's improved. He's doing a lot of great things, and, and we're very thankful for the hard work he's been putting in in the gym. Who can you see him possibly fighting in the future? Uh, well... <laughs> You know, I, I think all the above, right? I think, uh, you know, he could fight a Crawford, he could fight a Spence, he could fight any of these guys. He could fight Boots Ennis, he could fight, you know, Virgil Tees would be a great fight, right? Wow. Two, two, two great Mexican warriors. I didn't even think about that. San Antonio yeah, versus San Antonio, Dallas? I mean, it would be huge. That would be a mega fight. And, 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 you know, one thing I do know about Al Heyman, Al Heyman always works with everybody. And, 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 and if they seen a fight like that, you know he would make a fight like that happen. This is the, Al Heyman makes fights happen. He does not stop fights from happening. So you would definitely be open to fighting uh, boot tennis or Virgil Ortiz? Sure, 110%. There's no, there's no two ways about it, you know? No two ways about it. Um, and, and, and I know Al Heyman, if they presented that, he will make it happen. There's no, there's no two ways about it. We have the utmost confidence in Louis DeCubis Jr. and Al Heyman. Right. Utmost confidence.